What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jaylon, and I'm back again with another video. How y'all doing on this fine morning? The time y'all see this, it's probably gonna be like afternoon, evening-ish, but right now it's morning time. Um, I got me some Chick-fil-A breakfast, you know what I'm saying? I got me a spicy chicken biscuit and I got me another Cloudberry Sun Joy. If y'all don't like this drink, y'all tripping. Oh, you can taste the berry a little bit more this time. But um, I've been like thinking I want to kind of be more transparent through this, like, chapter of my life that I'm going through right now. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what to call it, but I'm I'm tired of really, like, working for people. I'm so sick of working for people. I'm ready to be my own boss, and I'm tired of punching the clock. And I know that, like, it comes with patience or whatever, but how, how do you know, like, you know, how how are you supposed to step out on faith and, you know, try and do your own thing if you're if you're working full time, eight hour shifts like throughout the whole freaking week and you only got like one day to yourself and then the whole time that you at you stuck at a workplace trying to build trying to get money or whatever. Don't get me wrong now. I ain't lazy. I don't work. I got my first job when I was sixteen years old. As soon as I turned sixteen, I got my first job because I wanted my own money. And then I stayed at that job for like the longest, literally the longest. I've even worked two jobs at the same time while I was in high school. I've also worked, so how many, full, okay, so I've had two like part-time jobs when I was in high school. And then after I graduated high school, when I went out to college, I still kind of had like work study. So I was still working, making my own money or whatever. So I guess that counts as a job. And then, um dropped out of college came back home and i instantly went like right into full time because i was like well i ain't got nothing better to do so what else am i gonna you know do it in, in order to make my money so i kept doing that for a little minute but um as i kept working like the full-time jobs i'm noticing like i don't want to do this forever like i don't want to go back to school because i don't have no passion to go back to college i don't want to be working full-time because i don't be, i don't want to be working for somebody for the rest of my freaking life like i just don't that's that's just not what i want personally and i know that it i can do entrepreneurship you know what i'm saying i was out here hustling in high school selling candy not even just in high school and middle school i was selling candy i was selling things i was out there making my little bread on the side before i could able i was able to get a job so it's not a big deal for me to be able to step into entrepreneurship and make money my own way you know the way that i enjoy making it or whatever I'm just really tired of working for the white man. Like, I'm tired of punching the clock. I want to work for myself. I want to be my own boss. So, I feel like I have that luxury of being able to quit my job or whatever and going out and making my own money to make sure that I have my car note and my car insurance paid because those are the main two bills that I have. Besides, like, the money I get to my mom every month to help her out around the household. But... I'm just so tired of working. Like I've been working, I've worked through the pandemic while people were sitting on their tails, collecting free checks. I barely got any free money because the dumbass, the dumbass store was still open. One second, y'all. I got to buy my sandwich. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> They made that sucker fresh. Woo! It's very hot. But yeah. And it's not even that I mind working. You know what I'm saying? I have a, a, a wonderful work ethic. But I feel like so many things have been revealed to me since dropping out. Things that I can do to make my own money the talents that I have, the passions that I have. Like, I want to make money. I want my name to make my money for me. You know what I'm saying? If I got to take a little minute and put in the work in order for that to happen, then so be it. 
me, I know you have to step out and be willing to take risks. And because if not, if you sit in there scared to stay in the same, and you scared to step out, but you you rather stay there in the same position than to step out on faith and be like, oh, okay, if I fall, I just have to get back up. You cannot be scared to get out there and do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to get out there and do it because at the end of the day, you're the only person that can do it. You're the only person that can actually push yourself and be like, yo, you need to put this content out, this content out, this content out. And just make it do what it do you know what i'm saying nobody else is going to sit there and pull you to the side and be like yo you need to post this video post this video do that do that do that you got to do that yourself especially if you want to be your own boss because at the end of the day everything falls back on you, you nobody else is going to be able to <coughs> excuse me nobody else is going to do it for you and nobody else is going to be there to back you up you know what i'm saying you got to make everything happen for you and your business now Let's circle back round to a nine to five. Nothing is wrong with a nine to five. Don't get me wrong. I have worked a total of three jobs that were full time and I have left all three. You know, like, of course I stayed there for a good little minute, a couple months, The long, well, my recent one, I stayed there for six months. I just left that one because I ain't feel like doing it no more. And it was within the medical field and I felt like I was putting myself at risk with COVID and everything like that. They just weren't, they just weren't what I wanted anymore. So I left them. Tried to go back to my old job. I was there for two days. Two days, three days. And I was like, mm, it's not what I'm getting. I feel like I'm I'm traveling backwards. I'm taking steps back. And I'm not, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be taking, take, take, I can't even talk. I don't even feel like I'm supposed to be taking steps backwards. I'm I feel like I'm supposed to be moving forward. You know what I'm saying? So I told my manager, I'm like, yo, I'm sorry. I know I came back to you to get a job, but... I can't do this no more. I don't I don't I, I don't have the energy to punch a clock and work for somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So I let that go. Then the other job um I lasted there for a good little minute until they had moved me like into a different area of the store and that's when I had left because I was like I felt like I was being overworked. And that's another big thing too like nine to fives they will overwork you i really feel like i burnt myself out that's why i'm sitting back and just relaxing for a little minute until i get back to my hustle because i feel like i don't overwork myself like if you allow these folks if you tell these folks you can work in the morning to this certain time and and yada 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 and 40 hours a week that is a lot 40 hours a week that is a whole lot and i'm putting all this all this work in for your business to make sure that your business runs smoothly when i can be putting this into my business and my craft and doing what i want to do and those 40 hours i could be putting towards my youtube videos my tiktok videos my instagram posts to actually do what i actually want to do like no it just never gave that like i gotta i gotta stop and step back and look at and be like yo i still stay at home with your mama only you only got two big bills your car note and your car insurance you can go out uber eats doordash and instacart and get that money quickly by the end of the month and pay that pay your insurance and your car note and you good and you can also make enough spending money like depending on how hard you go like me i done made a whole little schedule how i'm gonna go out and get my money or whatever and i'm gonna i'm gonna do my big one because i like, i feel like i'm a hustler i know how to go out there and get it Okay, sit on your ass. And that's not the point of this video. I'm not saying that I'm lazy. I don't want to work a nine to five. I'm tired of working for other people. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What was I at? Okay, so yeah, they'll overwork you. They'll overwork you and you'll feel burnt out. And then all those hours, 80 hours for two weeks, That's I feel like that's ridiculous. And it just clicked inside my head. Like, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I don't even want to do that now. I'm 19 years old. I've been working since I was 16. I'm tired. I feel like I should be building my name up to make money off of my name. I want to be an influencer. I want to be I want to be famous. I'm not even going to lie to you. I want to rap. I want to make music. I want to model. I want to act. I want to dance. And I feel like this is my inner child speaking because these are things that I've always wanted to do like since I was a little kid, like before I even thought about even going to college type joint. I always wanted to be like in the spotlight. Like even at in middle school, we had a, a talent show. 
I couldn't like well I could dance but like it wasn't like no traditional dancing it was more like hitting the folks or whatever but I still got out there and did my big one and I was still on that stage and I was still in the spotlight you know what I'm saying I'm not afraid to like put my face in the spotlight I can rap y'all ain't know I can rap I'm probably gonna try I gotta get to the studio but I want to start posting my music on here but I'm, I'm trying to kind of re, re I'm trying to post like relatable content because I'm kind of in a creative block and I'm like I don't really know what to post but I feel like during this chapter of my life, I really have to be transparent, you know what I'm saying? So, that's just the gist of it. I'm just tired of working for other people, and I know I'm not the only one that's feeling like this. Like, I really was working through COVID-19. I was really working through COVID-19, and all, everybody else was sitting on their behinds, just relaxing, chillaxing, scamming. Same thing now, everybody's sitting down. Well, not everybody's sitting down. Everybody outside at their scamming and things like you know what i'm saying i'm not mad do your big one honey but me girl I, I can't no i'm too scared to scam but me i want to i want to make like legitimate money like like actually be up there and living the life like i don't want to be faking nothing you dig what i'm saying i want life to be what i actually present it to be and right now i feel like life can be a little bit better but i'm very much grateful for where i am in life because i'm 19 years old like i said i have so many more years i have so many more things like in store for me that i know that i just have to keep going it, it's i can't quit i can't give up so that's the moral of this story i'm just tired of working for people i'm ready to be my own boss and i guess i'm gonna just take y'all on the journey with me this video gonna be up sometime next week or this week sometime this week and then my next video will probably be probably probably be me like I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna think of some videos of some for me to do. Like probably waking up every morning at six o'clock in the morning, doing this, doing that. Probably yeah. Y'all gonna see. But um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys understand where exactly I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm destined for something for something different. I'm I'm not supposed to be punching no clock every single day. And I feel like I've done that so many times. And it's, it's time for me to do actually what I what I want to do and not what other people want me to do. I feel like I wasted, not necessarily wasted, but I, I've i tried multiple, multiple, multiple things. And it just seemed like I, I'm not satisfied with it. You know what I'm saying? Like working full time? No, that's out the window. Um, going to college, no, that's out the window because I just don't have a passion to go into anything like that needs college, you know what I'm saying? I want to rely on myself and my abilities and everything that I have learned so far to get where I need to be in life so I can provide for my family, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, shit, I'm spinning. Not too much. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share. So, I guess, if y'all are okay with it, instead of doing, like, I might do vlogs here and there for, like, the things I'm getting together. But that probably won't be until a little minute. But I really want to get these chit-chats out because I really have so much on my mind that's been weighing on me. And not even like now, but sometimes even like past experiences that keep like recircling my mind. I want to put those out too. So I hope you guys enjoy this little segment or whatever. But thank you guys for watching. And as I always say, peace and hair grease. You feel me?